This is uh, yeah, the final, as I said. Shao K and Meng Meng versus Zeppelin and OC. Undead Night Elf versus Orc Human. Ted and Hainu, the kings of 2 and 2, the kings of Lost Temple, are waiting for the grand, uh, for the challenger, for the king of the hill uh, match. But we have to determine a winner first. So, no way OC in red. In the six o'clock position, taking very, very fast with the fast here again. And his attack. ally, Zeppelin, who I've never heard of before, is expanding once more. And this time they have the good positions. Same goes for the for the Night Elf, though. So the, for the very first time, the two races who can expand rather easily have the good position in the middle of the bait like in the middle of the two spawning positions. We see an engine of war here though, no expo by Meng Meng yet. And again, the Farseer Grunt Harass with the Wolves. DK creeping up to level 2. And Expo here, as I said. So they're trying to buy some time for this expansion to work. It's not that easy against the Keeper of the Grove with the Lockdown and Tangle level 1. But uh -oh, what is Meng Meng doing, man? Losing quite a bit of HP, losing a lot of Moon Wells here. Standing right next to the Wolves. And more pressure. And that's it, man. That's the last Moon Juice he has. Can't regenerate anymore. And might have to pull the town portal soon. There's not even a shop for him. Oh, tr try to surround him with the newly summoned wolves. Can he run him down? Doesn't seem like it, so... Okay, we have a fiend footman battle here. Even a skull, interestingly. Very rare to see this item that early. Thank you very much, Kongo Jung, by the way. Almost 15 years, he says. 15 months of resubbing. Shout out to you, my man. It was nice to see you recently. Tier 2, almost done by OC. And is this Wyvern again? He could go into a Wyvern opening if he thinks that the Undead's tech is late. And he, it is late. It's very late. So without the Tier 2 tech, he doesn't have web. And no anti-air, basically. So if you go Wind Rider Wyvern... It should give you a lot of control. But the Fiends give you a lot of damage. And Shao K is trying to get the middle already. But oh, losing a Fiend? No, switches the aggro from the creeps before. But man, does he take a lot of damage. Would be a great potential creep jack here. Poison everywhere. But of course, the fountain heals against this. No way OC and... Zeppelin not really trying to engage into this as they think, all right, as long as our expansion is safe, we can do this. But so much experience and the two big consumables on the side of the Night Elf on that combo, plus level three on the DK. Big invo potion here is nice. And the Book of the Dead as well. Oh, this is great against the Expo. There's not really Dispel in this army. And there won't be, I guess. It's double beast three again, built in the back, so potentially Wyvern. If he scouted the main and the late tech, it's definitely Wyvern. And here comes a big push. With the Book of the Dead, with so many fiends and the Huntress. Can he break this expo? There is one tower, but only the little arcane. And he's just pushing this. This will take some time to break this base and to be able to attack the workers. But he's in a decent position. No way OC is coming in. As well as Zeppelin. Three, five, seven footies. Mass damage. Against the backline. Book of the Dead being summoned. They take out the workers here. Chain Lightning rattling through. OC with the Shadow Hunter, but then Snare on the fast here. He has a TP. Can he? Oh, what a nice block. That was perfection almost. Moving the DK into this little open slot. Oh, Book of the Dead here again. TP. Everything is hurt. He has to TP to his own expansion once more. There's no shop. So many skeletons everywhere. And the fast here is about to fall. This is a, a super short final. It didn't work at all to go for this expo. Just pure outmassed. And of course, a little lucky. Double kill on the first hero. Saves that fiend even. The keeper should be saved as well. Oh my god. And the Shadow Hunter falls. Triple kill. For Shao K and Mang Mang. A 
This is really rough. Peasant line almost wiped out. Fiends are still up. They can't break this expo though. As it seems, but they can just heal at the fountain, right? And then engage again. Another kill against the grunt. Level almost five. It shows you how much they killed. Pretty crazy. They need some f sort of distraction. And the Wyverns are coming for it. Again, almost no anti-air. On the Night Elf on that side. Getting a few kills here and there. But same goes for... Meng Meng. Only with Entangle. Ah! Actually running out. And here comes Hex. There's a Town Portal, of course, to save this hero. Or is he hexing against this again? Lords! 2 HP TP. <laughs> playing with fire. Huntress are at the expansion again. Aiming for the towers and then the glaives bounce back to the workers. So that is good damage, but riflemen are coming in. But so is the undead. Does he have a lich? Does he finally have a tech? No. Oh yeah, he does. For the slaughterhouse and Alta And another necropolis. Plus the counter expansions up. They had so much time to do this because there's no pressure at all from No Way OC. Well, now there is, I guess. With this base falling. Do they want to protect this? I don't think so. Workers are gone. Keeper has no TP. So this base is falling. It's just buying a little time. Transitioning into raiders now as a web should be finished. And the town hall falls. That means the human is supply stuck as well at his 47. Which is coming, taking a few hits. But yeah, Web is ready. And he's taking out the Wyvern one by one if he has the chance. That's why the Raider transition comes in pretty nicely. Ooh, the Lich. There should be Ensnare. He's missing this opportunity. Here we go. Hex. No TP. Must be a kill. Yeah, with the Chain Lightning he secures this kill. There was a Coil. Can't reach for that Wyvern, but that one is certainly dead. With a keeper. Can they come back with hero focus? It absolutely looks like it. No TP is leveling up before even. So it's more expensive and takes a lot more time to get the keeper back. Are they really giving this game out of hand? I can't believe it. 52 supply and 42 against the 41 and 44. But the expo is dead. So that's a big problem. Level 6 on the DK already. <laughs> No way OC is still fighting though. They're rebuilding the expansion. A player's forces are under attack. No the tier three tech. Even rebuilding ghouls? Was he harassed in the main or something? I don't know. But the keeper won't come back. There's no tavern on this map, so he can't get it there. Alta is down. Can he just wreck this base? Shao K is coming in with his level 6. Does he have level 3 aura? Yes, he does. No ultimate for the DK. But these raiders with their siege damage, man. They're putting in the work and they're killing this base. But on the flip side, the human base was wiped out again as well. Another raider dead. Oh, two raiders during the town portal. Well done. Altar is coming back. As well as the tree of life, I guess. No, ancient protector even. I guess they have to protect this base, don't they? The player's forces are under attack. OC is buying so much time with his place. Town portal in now from the undead though. And this Nova is only level 1, but it's a lot of damage. And so he can't hold on to this. Gets a rifleman. That's fine. And the town portal. And the expo is still standing. So two gold mines versus two. But the undead tech. This will be the savior. Or the nail in the coffin, rather. A player's Can he afford to build attack. that base again? There's an owl constantly scouting for them. So they know if the expansion is coming up or not. 
Shadow have to close to three. Fast, you're super under level. Town is under siege. But they push into the space again. Tree of Life will be cancelled once more. And they stay on two bases. A player's force is Split attack. Oh, so nice. The human is splitting into this base. The orc is attacking into this base. There is a lot of repair, but then Snare can get rid of it. Can cancel this. A town is under siege. Oh, that's a lot now, though. And the DK with his coil nukes defends this alone. He's losing too much. He doesn't have the gold to afford these losses. Huntress again. Getting towards his expansion before the towers are up. But he's wiping out Mang Mang. No interest in defending this base, I guess. Red spot now. There's another expansion coming, this time by No Way OC. Forces are under attack. Not a tiny Great Hall, just a normal one. And again, the Ancient Django. How many Ancient Django's have we seen today? But once the Lich is rising in levels, these heroes of No Way OC and, um, and Zeppelin are all squishy. Look at this, not even 600 HP. Not even 600 HP, not even 600 HP. All 575. Coil Nova is so strong. Okay, now we have Coil Nova level two and a half, basically. They play it so well, though. They were not supposed to be in this game anymore after the super early tier one. But double Blaze barracks holding on. Blacksmith rebuilt. Town Hall at 50%. Not a combined push again. Mang Mang has 50 supply. But no base. Losing his last production building. Huntress helping a little in the base. Tier 3 is done. So we have the Orb of Corruption now. Before Tier 2, Lich is tanking quite a bit. Has good damage. Not using the coil, has to use the potion of the Lich soon. But yeah, whoa, this damage, man! By no way OC, but big town portal. Quite passively, though. Oh, went off the wind. So nice. So, so, so nice. I don't know if it's worth it that Meng Meng is rebuilding his base and army. Like, he's down to 23. If they come back into this game, man, that would be so nuts and all due to No Way OC. Two Raiders dead though, for free. It's basically Shao K versus No Way OC. But if this expo goes through, they have four bases again. And to break a human base is really hard, thanks to the four towers and masonry upgrade. And this is only piercing damage. 2-1 piercing damage, but basically only piercing damage. Ha <laughs> ha The destroyer trapped in the forest. But they are killing Meng Meng again. A town is under siege. He's trying to protect with the Rubian Towers as well. So what's gonna die faster? Does he have a town portal? Yes, he does. The undead can protect this again. Keeper is finally coming back. This is very, very well protected by now. And also a good amount of heal waves. Archmage is coming in as well. Does he have blizzard? No, there's water elementals. Otherwise, it could be really good. Kills the altar, right? Full focus on the altar. A few ghouls come in to help. Mass repair on the backline. 
Where are the end snares? Where's the chain lightning? He's not disabling them. Now he is. And that should be enough. Can't out heal this anymore. And the altar falls again. No keeper of the grove. Shao Kei is wiping out the entire base though. And helps on the defense now. This could be the end. Is there coil? No, but he's blocking himself with the rifleman a bit. Oh, nice blocks by these wisps. Oh, he is doing this so good. Meng Meng guarantees two raider kills as the damage comes in from the fiends. No way OC trying to find a way out and it's kind of working. 2,000 gold for him? Are you kidding me? How is he not producing? Attack. He's trying to go into Wyvern again. Why is he not spending his gold? Watch, 2,000 gold. Eight hundred on Zeppel inside as well. The town the is under siege. Are under Going and Venom Spears into Raiders, that's weird. Oh, now he's spending a lot. Like, he's just spent a thousand gold. Lots of engines of war, lots of engine protectors. No way OC is just sacrificing his raiders here. And I would love to see Blizzard. Imagine the damage on the structures. He's just... What is he doing with those raiders? Oh, okay, healing them up now. Oh, man. And in the human base, again, he kills the tech. And the base. So we're down to three against two bases. Shadowhunter level four. He should really, 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 really go into Blizzard. Another kill. Coil Nova is just becoming so strong. Town power allowed him. Good defense now. As destroyers are in, these summons are not doing too much anyway. Love how they defend their bases with so many towers. What did he Players spend his gold on? On seven wyvern? What a game. This game was over twice. But it's three bases versus two now. Time to catch up. 14 supply only for Meng Meng. A player's forces are under attack. Close to level 5 though. And then it's Coil Nova 3. What a comeback. This is so surreal. Tell uh, Medallion of Courage also nice for a little more HP. And Mana on the Shadow Hunter exactly what he needs. More footmen. We are like... How about how long are we in this game? Around 22 minutes. And he's building footmen. Finally seeing this now. Nova right clicks. Still no tomb of retraining. I can't believe this. 64 supply, still a thousand gold. On that expansion here, interesting choice. So, how much damage can the Wyvern do? There must be web. He's webbing all of them. Super nice damage. Oh man, why this Wyvern transition? I cannot understand this. But alright, so far it's working out. He's getting one kill, two kills, and forces the town portal. But lost a bit as well. Shade sees the another expansion. Meng Meng has Huntress again. Meng Meng has the Keeper again. Super on level on level three, of course. In Shao Kei's gold mine is empty. Dude, what a game. More Wyvern. Peons are moving over. It's two base versus one at the moment. He's not rebuilding this, of course. Players' forces are under attack. He's far out. Uh oh, oh. Shade sees this. There is a TP on both. 
tools. Oh, okay. And a tiny great hall. Are they going in for the jack? Man, this game is stabilizing again. Yeah, good point by chat that OC should go for Kodos. Oh, the Nova! Look at the damage he immediately healed against it, but a few Wyron will fall nevertheless. Two of them, level 8 on the DK. Double TP out and a protection scroll used. Shade is here. Tier 2 tech again. A player's forces are under attack. Town is under Mind boggling how. Oh my god, this tiny Great Hall was so expensive. 700 gold! And he's just knocking it down. <sighs> Can they somehow... They have to scout this. And they do. This is not protected at all. Except from army, I guess. OC has half a mine left. <laughs> he's towering this. Nice. But here comes a combined attack. OC's last gold mine. He spent 2,000 gold on Wyvern. Forces are under attack. And he has to fight this base with three APs who do area of effect piercing damage now against Wyvern. Siege. They wipe out this base. And Town Portal now. Speed scroll out. Not much damage done. Double TP even. Getting a kill. Lich, level five and a half. Ooh. Ouch. These raider losses hurt a lot. It's the third one. Ten supply gone. And these towers, man, they are working. <laughs> what a game. This is so nuts. And he's expanding here again. I would so love this Archmage to go for the Lizard. Forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Big fight coming in here, I guess. He's taking out the Acolytes first, I like that. Ooh, Keeper is in a world of trouble getting surrounded. Invo Potion used immediately. No or a lot of mana burns, but he keeps the surround closed. It's only seven seconds. I think he can't fight through this, can't he? Heal scroll being used as well. And the Keeper falls again. We find... No, he's TPing out. We finally have Blizzard. And look how much more damage this is. He's running into his own Blizzard. That wasn't so smart. Sacrificing a lot of footmen here. But damage in the back line. There's no way of saving this keeper. Moon juice empty. No TP. No staff. No consumable. But man, this Archmage is surrounded, isn't he? Lol. A player's what a mistake! What is this? Archmage TP's out. Oh my god. No one. This Shadow Hunter though. He can reach for some right clicks. Oh, heals himself. And now the Wyvern take out this gold mine. This game is completely bananas. At this point. All echoes down. Shadow Hunter falls? Where? What? How? A player's forces are under attack. Oh, and the peon sees the gold mine. It's not even up yet. Shao K has to make sure to save one of his gold mines. OC is not mining. Losing more and more units. A player's forces are under attack. Oh. Archmage only has a staff and an invul. There is Entangle against the staff if... Yeah, Keeper is uh, close by. He sees the mining here. He sends the Wyvern back though and he starts double production again. 
Or the double mining. Thank you, Lacrest Fallen, 100 bits. Shadow Hunter cannot outrun a level 8 DK, simply got run down. Okay. A player's forces are under attack. Keeper. Uh, can't reach for anything though. Shadow Hunter's still dead. So, now he's going up against the Ancient Protectors. With the Paladin, with Blizzard. And the Hunters don't do anything anymore. It's too many Wyvern for this. Oh, Death and Decay! Lich Ultimate is wrecking the fortress! And now he defends. Oh my god. So much happening at the same time. One AP is down. He holds on to this one though. More Huntress falling. Oh my god, this Farseer has no TP. OC is losing everything but his Wyvern. Can he get the kill? Can he get to the shop for a potion? He needs something to rescue himself. Potion? Use it last second. OC calls GG. Can't get the kill. And man, did they hold on forever. The challengers for Ted and Hainu are Shao, K and Meng Meng. So sick. So sick. 28 minute final. What a final this was. God damn it, this was great. <laughs> Ultimates, transitions, countless expansions. This game had it all. How long did Shao Cape stay in there? Meng Meng wasn't too big of, an, of a factor here, but Shao K was. And no way OC is out, as well as Zeppelin. So we're gonna have a mirror in the King of the Hill battle here. The next one is gonna be a best of three. The reigning champions of Lost Temple, Ted and Hainu, are playing uh, the new challengers, that is Shao Kei and Meng Meng. I did a little break after this game, but not without thanking Chris, uh, Chris Baumspitz for four months of resubbing. Greetings, what a game! I can just, uh, yeah, say, you're right, man. You're absolutely right. We're gonna be right back with the last set of the day, but that's gonna be a best of three. The best undead night elf or the best two and two team in the world stepping in the ring. Ted and Hainu versus their challengers, Shao Kei and Meng Meng. Stay tuned.